Lumbar radiculopathy is the term used to depict a condition where one or more of the nerves in the low back is compressed or pinched, causing pain, most commonly into one of the legs. The spinal cord ends in the upper portion of the lumbar spine, which makes up the lower back. From there, a number of nerves travel to the legs in the central canal and then exit at various levels through canals or channels we call foramen. Anything that makes up space either in that central canal or in the foramen have the potential to encroach on one or more of these nerves. One of the most common causes is a herniated disc, but other causes can be things like cysts coming off the joints in the spine, thickened ligaments, and sometimes it can be related to being born with a narrow canal to begin with. Patients may or may not have back pain associated with lumbar radiculopathy, but by definition there is pain somewhere in the legs or in the buttock, groin, or pelvis. This pain is often described as sharp, electric-like, or stabbing, and can be associated with numbness or even weakness. There are certain physical exam findings that can suggest to your physician that your pain could be due to a pinched nerve, and it may prompt x-rays and possibly an MRI. Your physician will also pay close attention to whether or not there is associated weakness in the muscles that the nerve innervates or feeds, as this can suggest significant compression. When the exam and imaging, such as the MRI, reveal that the symptoms are coming from a herniated disc or another focal area of nerve compression, you may be prescribed anti-inflammatory medications or specific injections which can target the area of compression and decrease the inflammation and swelling around the nerve. In most cases, these conservative options are successful in treating the problem. Physical therapy is also often prescribed anytime there is a problem with the low back, as this helps to strengthen the core muscles and acts to support that area. However, when there's notable weakness or there is severe pain, especially when it doesn't respond to injections, you may be a candidate for a surgery to take the pressure off of that compressed nerve, which is considered a very predictable option for improving the pain. There are many ways we can treat your lumbar radiculopathy. Your first step is to meet with a CU spine specialist for an evaluation so we can work together on the right treatment plan for your unique case.